Okay, we're gonna do this one right now. This is uh, the third page of your packet. It says which number line represents four, four, six. So four out of six. What do I need to look for? A number line that is divided in six equal parts. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Is my dot in the fourth place? So if I jump, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Be very careful. Because if you count this one, this is a zero. So one, two, three. So is this four sixths? Yes or no? No. It's three sixths. Let's count this one. I'm going to, I want to play with my colors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's divided into seven parts. Are these six? No. Okay. Let's count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So far, so good. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Hey, this one looks like this is the answer. I just want to double check. Let's count this one. One, two, three, four, and this is five. This one is four out of five. So my correct answer is letter C. Okay, this one cannot be because it's one, two, three, four. Yes, but out of five pieces. All righty. Which statement is true about the area model? So how many shaded parts can you see? I see three. How many parts is this rectangle divided into? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Do you, do you remember I told you that? If this is half of these, actually you're looking at half of the shape. If I use my imagination and I move this shaded square to this place, so if I switch these two, I get half of my rectangle because three is half of six. Does that make sense? Now let's read what's going on. The model represents one half and six six okay is this a half when you have the same number as the nominator and the denominator it's a complete shape so six pieces out of six it's one six slices of pizza out of a pizza that was divided into six parts that's a whole pizza so this is not okay. The, the model represents, because this is not a complete, okay, uh, shape. The model represents four six. Is it four six? No. Dun, da, da, dun. I don't even need to continue. The model represents, yes, three six, yes, and three thirds. Ah. Uh, because both fractions represent three parts of a whole. No, because three thirds, again, it's the whole rectangle and the whole rectangle is not shaded, okay? It's like three slices of pizza, of a pizza that is that was just divided into three parts. That's a whole pizza, okay, so no. This model represents three six, yes, and one half, yes. If I use my imagination and I move that shaded square here, I can see that it's half, half of my rectangle. So, because both fractions are half of the model, this is my correct answer. The, this model is shaded to show a fraction. So one piece is shaded out of one, two, three, out of three. 
Which of these models is shaded to show a fraction equivalent to the model above? Okay, so this one is one fourth, and I know that this is less. Can you see that is less? Because it's just one piece, but these, the thirds are bigger than the fourths. No, this one is half of it. This is not half, okay? This is half of the pie, so it's bigger. It's not equivalent. Equivalent means the same, equal, equal, equivalent. Okay, this is interesting. This one looks promising because you have like these. Let me use my highlighter. I want to use my highlighter. I'm going to use my highlighter with green. You have this shape like this, which sounds or looks just like this one, okay? You can actually divide it in thirds and like this. Can you see? So this one is the same as this one. I'm gonna use my pencil now. So this is my correct answer. Can you see? This one is more, more than a half. It's more, this is the half and a little bit more than a half. This is not even the half of it. So that cannot be. You have to use your observation skills and your logic. Number four, which statement is true? I have no idea, I need to look at my number line. One, two, three, four. So this is four out of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four out of eight. Oh, it's actually half of the line, remember? Because four is half of eight. This is half of the line. Do -do -do. Okay, point K represents five eights. No, not five eights. Point K represents four eights. Yes, and four sixths. No, no, that's totally wrong. Point K represents five eights. No, four eights, yes, but five eights, no. Point K represents four eights, yes, and one half, yes, four is half of eight. And if you look at the number line, this is my half of my number line. So this is the correct answer. Okay, let's move on to the next one. It says 3.3e, partition of a whole, equally. Mrs. Hines made these cookies. Mrs. Hines divided the cookies equally between herself and her three grandkids. Herself and her three grandkids. So that's made, that makes four people. What fraction of the cookies did each of them get? Okay. So, first of all, I need to know how many cookies each person got. So, it's four people, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to use this space right here. Eight cookies divided equally among four people equals what? I'm going to use my multiplication strategies. So, four times what gives me eight? Ah, four times two, right? So my answer is two. Eight divided by four is two. Four times two is eight. So each person got two cookies. They're asking me for a fraction, so I'm gonna draw a beautiful rectangle and I'm gonna split it up in fractions like this, yay! And I'm gonna use my highlighter and I'm gonna color the cookies that each person gets. So each person gets two cookies, can you see? Perfect. So what fraction is this? What fraction is this? Now you are not going to look at the cookies anymore. You look at the fraction, everybody. 
Look at the fraction. This is one. Can you see? One out of one, two, three, four. One fourth of the cookies. One fourth of the cookies. Or another one, because I don't have fourths here, I am going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw. So this is two out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two out of eight, which is this one right here. Okay? Two, two cookies out of eight. Two cookies out of eight. There you go. Luis and his two friends will share nine candy bars. What fraction will each person receive? Boys and girls, you have Luis and two friends. That is three people. Three. Nine divided by three. Okay, I, have, I need my, to make it into a timetable. So I can say, Three times what gives me nine? Three times three, nine. Okay, so the answer is three. Each person will receive three candies. Okay, I'm gonna highlight those. Each person will receive three candies. One, two, three. Excellent. So each person will receive three candies out of nine. This is my fraction. Okay? They're not going to receive two, but, 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 and they're not going to receive one candy. They're going to receive three candies out of nine. Okay, there you go. Max used 24 cups of milk to make milkshakes for eight people including himself so eight and himself that's nine people okay 24 for nine people what fraction of cups of milk did he use in each milk shake okay so 24 Divided by, oh, but it's including himself. It's not nine, it's eight, okay? So himself is included in the eight, including himself, okay? It doesn't say and himself. Be careful with that. Okay, I was going to make a mistake. I was like, mm, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so including himself. Eight people, himself included in those eight people. Remember this? Okay, I'm going to translate it to a multiplication. A times what equals 24? Okay, so I go to my timetable of eight. I'm sorry, <laughs> let me click on do. I don't know what I was thinking. I go to the, my timetable of eight and look for the answer. And the answer is three. Okay. 8 times 3 is 24. Okay, so I'm going to use my highlighter. 1, 2, wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, these are, these are not the milk. Okay, so it's just 3, okay? What fraction of cups of milk did he use in each meal shape? What do you think? Eight out of 24? No, because the answer is three, boys and girls. This one is not okay. It has to be either this one or this one. Which one makes more sense? Three out of 24 or three out of eight? What fraction of cups? If he used 24 cups, these are cups, right? How many? These are cups. Did he have eight cups? This is a distractor, you guys. Did he, did he have eight cups? No. 
he had 24 cups, 24 cups. And how many did he 